When we look in the heavens, we look at starlight emitted from distant galaxies, and we find that the light is slightly reddish, redder than it's supposed to be. That means that these objects, these gigantic galaxies, are moving away from us, and therefore the universe is expanding. Well, we can run the videotape backwards. And by running the videotape backwards, we can then calculate when all these galaxies came from a single point. And that's how we calculate the age of the universe, by simply hitting the rewind button when we calculate the expansion of the universe. So by running the videotape backwards, we see that the universe is about 13.7 billion years old, plus or minus 1%. So we now know the age of the universe, 13.7 billion years, by running the videotape backwards. But what happens if we hit fast forward? What happens if we go forward in time billions of years? Well, here it gets murkier. But by analyzing how the universe has been expanding in the past, we used to think that the universe is slowing down. We used to think the universe is aging and therefore it's slowing down, running out of steam. Wrong. We now believe that the universe is speeding up. It's actually accelerating. It's in a runaway mode, which means that instead of dying in a big crunch, we'll probably die in a big freeze. We're not positive. We don't know if this will keep on for billions of years. But if so, the universe is in a runaway mode. It means that one day, perhaps when we look at the night sky, perhaps we'll see almost nothing. Because the distant galaxies are so far that light cannot even reach our telescopes.